What's up everyone, welcome back to another review and this time we're going to be taking a look at The Wolf of Wall Street directed by Martin Scorsese starring Leonardo DiCaprio. The Wolf of Wall Street tells the story of the rise of Jordan Belfort in, uh, in Wall Street. We see his rise and eventual downfall and eventual redemption. Okay, so I'm going to do my best to keep this review as short as I possibly can because I love The Wolf of Wall Street. I think this movie is outstanding. It is over the top and it is glorious. Leonardo DiCaprio in this movie gives an outstanding performance. His performance as Jordan Belfort is how I'm going to describe it to you right now. It is a kinetic, drug-induced performance. It's got he has got so much energy as Jordan Belfort. It's outstanding. You can't take your eyes off Leo for one little second. He is never boring. Every time he's on screen, you just get this manic, drug-induced energy that he brings to the role, and he just steals the show. Leo literally steals the show in this movie. That's how good he is in, as Jordan Belfort. He's outstanding. And that's not to discredit the supporting cast that surrounds him because they're just as good. You know, uh, Jonah Hill plays the character called Donnie who is Jordan Belfort's uh, best friend in the film and DiCaprio and Hill have an untapped comedic chemistry with one another. Especially when they're popping drugs together, they're hilarious together. And you have a, and you got a slew of other supporting cast members to themselves as well. You have Margot Robbie, who plays Jordan's wife, Naomi. Her and Leo got a good chemistry with one another. You have an appearance by John Bernthal, who plays a character called Brad, who's like a drug dealer, who is also friends with, with uh, Jordan Belfort. And I thought John Bernthal was hilarious in the, in the old time he was in. Uh, my favorite scene <laughs> with John Bernthal is with him, is him and Jonah Hill in this parking lot, getting into a fight over money. <laughs> and it's hysterical shit. Oh, uh, man. You have Matthew McConaughey, who appears in the first 15 minutes in this movie, and it's fucking Matthew McConaughey. You give this man 15 minutes, and he's going to make the most out of those 15 minutes, and you're going to remember those 15 minutes. That's just how good of an actor Matthew McConaughey is. You can give this guy a little, and he can make, and he can give you, and he can give you much. So, yeah, I got no complaints over that. <clears throat> uh, this, Martin Scorsese really captures that 1980s New York yuppie culture where everything is just excess the sex is excess the drugs is excess the Wall Street culture is nothing but excess and we see Jordan Belfort and his crone and his you know and his uh, companions at St Stratton and Oakmont just indulge in those excesses we see the outrageous office parties these guys throw which is just you have to see it to believe it's just how wild and crazy these things were you got guys getting blowjobs on the elevators you got people shaving their heads you got hookers and bitches and sexes all over the place it's just it was a wild and crazy time during those days let me tell you and Martin Scorsese did a perfect job of capturing that 1980s excessive aesthetic within his lens he pulls no punches everything in this movie is graphic the sex scenes are graphic, the drug use is graphic, and the profanity is graphic, and I love every single minute of it. I respect Martin Scorsese for not for having the balls to show all these things with no cutaways and not compromising for a minute. You gotta respect a director who stands his ground and will show you <laughs> because listen, the 80s was the decade of excess. If you're gonna show the decade of excess, Either go all the way or don't do it at all. And Martin Scorsese went all the way, and I have a lot of respect for him for doing that. Yeah. Uh, the Wolf of Wall Street. This movie is just fantastic. I love everything about it. Performances are outstanding. The story is really, really cool, very, very engaging. You have a slew of supporting characters. I like how all these relationships are really well handled. Like I said, DiCaprio and Jonah Hill, they're hilarious together. DiCaprio and Margot Robbie, they've got a good chemistry together. You got the character of, Ch of Kyle Chandler, who plays an FBI agent who's looking to take down Jordan Belfort. And I like that rivalry that develops between Ch Kyle Chandler's character and Jordan Belfort's character. It's good stuff. You have an appearance by Rob Reiner, who plays Jordan Belfort's uh, father, Max, who is called Mad Max whenever he gets angry. And Rob Reiner is hilarious as well when he starts yelling and screaming like a madman. Uh... Yeah, like again, I, I think this this is the movie that Leo should have won the Oscar for. His performance deserved it. It demanded it, and the fact that he got robbed, and the fact that he did not get anything for this movie is a miscarriage of justice. And it's a damn shame that The Revenant, which I still have never seen, is what got Leo the Oscar. Because 
how can you now how can you watch the Wolf of Wall Street and not say, yo, give this man an award? He's deserved it. He's he's kinetic, he has that kinetic energy. Every scene he's in, he just hypnotizes you. The fact that he can play a guy on drugs and play it so well is ridiculous. It's a testament to this man's talent. Um, I think the Wolf of Wall Street is probably in my top five favorite DiCaprio performances of all time. After watching a lot of his movies, I can honestly say that Wolf of Wall Street is in the top five. Hell, I might even put it at top three. So, yeah. The Wolf of Wall Street to me is a perfect 10. I love this movie. It is fantastic. So, yes. Let me know your thoughts on the Wolf of Wall Street in the comment sections down below. Do you like it? Do you hate it? I would like to know. Like this video and subscribe. And I'll check you back next time for more.